hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you're watching me for the first time my name is lizzie you're welcome so today i'm going to show you all how i was able to achieve this look on my wedding guest so here with me is my sister today and she was going to go out for a wedding so she asked me to make her up and which i did if you're watching me for the first time please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like share and also comment in the comment section thank you guys so much so the first thing i did was to carve her brows thereafter i moisturized her face i have videos on how to carve brows so i'm just going to link that to this particular video so i moisturized her face using my palm so that everything was just set into her skin properly and for skin prep i went in with Miron skin prep and i just buffed that into her face so that everything would just sit properly also and then for primer i also went in with zaron primer and that's what i'm doing right now i just buffed everything into her face so that it just sits and all of that so the foundation that I am using today is um, Zaron foundation. I really, really cannot remember the shade, but I am also going to put that in the notification bo box so that you guys can see. So all I'm doing right now is just using her shade. And after all of that, I just come, I just toned it down a little bit because it was somehow a little bit lighter than her skin tone. So I used powder to just tone everything down. So all I'm doing is right now is just you know put it putting that into her skin. I'm just you know applying it, blending it properly so that it sits well on her skin. So that's what I am doing basically. Do not forget to also blend the foundation into the corners of her nose and all those hidden areas you, you really do not need plenty foundation just a little and you are good to go so i'm going to take that also right down towards her neck area so that it it blends properly with her skin so right now i'm also going to conceal using this um classic concealer this light shade of classic concealer like i said i really really cannot remember the shades that i used but i'm going to put that in the notification box so that you guys can see so i went in with this lighter shade of classic concealer and this is how i'm just going to place it on her face i'm not going all the way but this way thereafter i'm just going to blend everything into her skin properly so that it feels good so i'm just going to place this on her t-zone and at the top of her nose right here so i'm placing that on her t-zone area so before blending everything in i'm going to go in with this blush and i'm using this eyeshadow palette this violet vase eyeshadow palette and i went in with two colors pink and orange and i just placed that just on her cheeks and then towards her forehead her head right there just on her cheeks and her forehead basically so you have to make sure that the concealer you're using is not too matte like i went in with cheek concealer yeah i remember the name right now the first concealer that i used is cheek and before you know it it was already drying off so i had to just do this blush quickly and then um apply the second concealer and then blend so that was what i did basically so you have to make sure that the concealer that you're using do does not dry up quickly you have to make sure of that because it's just going to look all dirty and you know what i'm saying so i went in with a darker shade of concealer again and this particular one is from zara and i just placed that on her jaw at this point underneath her eyes right here and on her forehead so that was what i did basically i'm just going to place that on her forehead like this afterwards i'm just going to blend everything and i'll be starting with the darker shade of concealer i'm just going to blend everything into her skin so that it looks really really nice so that's what i'm doing basically so just be patient and we would soon be done i'm just blending and blending and blending and then and i'm also going to apply on this area i forgot to do, do that initially i'm applying on this area and i'm just going to blend everything so that it looks really nice
so at this point i'm done blending i'm going to pick up this finishing spray from kiss beauty and then wait for some seconds for it to dry i had to place a standing fan just in front of her so that it dries off and all of that so you have to make sure that when you apply the setting spray because that will enable the makeup to last longer when you apply the setting spray wait for it to dry wait for it to just set into her skin let it dry up a little bit before you go in with powder and this powder palette that i'm using is from chic their palette is really really amazing like everything just stays and it feels so good and from what you can see right here we have different shades of you know powder and all that we have different shades of powder so you can go in with whatever shade that your model or your client has like it's just really really amazing so i'm just going to use some shades right here to calm the makeup down and i'm going to highlight in the areas that i am supposed to highlight so that is it basically guys do not forget to apply that powder on her ears and also on her neck please don't forget to do that you know we applied foundation on her neck before so i'm just going to go in with her shade of powder on her neck and then just you know for everything to look really nice and properly blended so once i'm done with this palette i'm going to go in with um a yellow tone of powder so that everything just sits good so that it's you know it blends with her skin properly and i'm going to go in with this zaron powder i'm just going to go in with um it in these corners of her face so that's what i'm doing basically so after doing this i'm just going to you know set her face with the with the cheek powder palette again that's what i'll be using i'm just going to set her face with it and then move on to the next face so guys these are the places that i am applying this powder basically on her t-zone areas and the places where she can easily sweat so right now i'll quickly contour her nose i'll quickly contour her nose i don't want it to be too pointed but i still want it to be pointed but not too much and i'm using the same um powder palette to do that i'll quickly contour her nose and then move over to her brows so i'm just going to you know set her brows using that same powder palette from cheek and then use a brow gel you could actually use any brow gel at all to do this i'm going to use this brow gel to draw a thin line underneath her brows and also on top her brows and then just fill it up that is it basically so i have so many videos that um i portrayed how to draw brows so i'm just going to also link those videos to this particular one just in case you want to learn how to draw your brows
so i'm done drawing the brows i'm just going to conceal underneath her brow and i'm going in with a shade of concealer that is in that of her skin tone i'm quickly going to do that and also drag that towards her the her eyelids just going to drag that towards her eyelids and then buff that into her skin properly after doing that i'm going to move over to eyeshadow i'm so sorry guys like it was when i was editing this video that i discovered that some clips were gone how it happened i really do not know but i used a gold shade of um eyeshadow i just used a gold shade this the gold shade in this particular palette, this Zaron palette, was what I used. And I used a fluffy brush to apply it. Thereafter, I went in with this burnt brown eyeshadow, this powdered eyeshadow. So that was what I did basically. After that, this glitter that I'm using is like a chameleon color. If you place a gold shade of eyeshadow on your eyes and go in with it, it literally turns to gold. But in its color, it is white naturally but if you use a a pink color of eyeshadow it just turns to pink when you apply the glitter if you use green it turns to green and i love it love it so much i really really cannot remember the name but i'm going to check to see and i'll make a research on the name i cannot remember but i love this glitter so much like it just changes my whole game and all of that so right now i'm going to line her eyes using um a brow gel i'm using a black one i'm going to line it and i'm not going to make it too big or too long so i'm lining the top and also under and after doing that i'm just going to blend that properly with um a powdered um, eyeshadow which is in the shade black i'm just going to blend everything so that it's it looks like it's so that it's smoky underneath her eyes i hope that you guys understand that this makeup literally came out really really nice and it didn't take much time at all like she was so surprised at how fast i was like it came out so so nice so i'm just going to mascara underneath her eyes and also you know the top of her lid basically so once you're done doing that apply lashes we all know that lashes changes the game of makeup like it makes everything to come out bomb nice and really really beautiful so that was what i did i applied lashes and it changed the game entirely so i'll be going in with this purple shade of lippy from um classic from classic i just went in with it and blended it properly thereafter i went in with a dark brown shade on her lips i'm just going to wait so that you guys can see what i am talking about so i'm just going to wait 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 wait, wait, wait. so i applied this purple shade on her lips and then went in with a dark brown from classic also so i'm just going to apply that on the top of her on the top of the purple right there ah, that clip was gone also sorry guys so i'm going to go in with this orange shade this is actually a co um a face corrector i think that's what it is called it's like it's in, it's in this la girl bottle this la girl um concealer bottle i hope that you guys understand but it's a correct so so i went in with that shade and then buffed that on her lips properly i just blended everything properly thereafter i went in with a yellow shade of um lippy i went in with a yellow shade of lippy i really cannot i'm just going to place the palette that i used in the notification box so that you guys can see and i asked her to blend everything properly and it came out really really nice so at this point i'm going to apply a transparent um lippy on her lips so that everything like this whole thing just changes the game i really really like my my lips and that of my clients to look like this shining and all of that it changes the whole game so that was it basically i applied highlighter but before doing that i had to buff out the powder that i had there i had to just wipe everything off i applied highlighter at this point on her forehead and also on her jaw thereafter i applied finishing spray and 
voila that was it that was it guys she really really loved it tell me what you guys think about this makeup in the comment section if you love it please say so encourage your girl guys encourage your girl so this is it basically it came out really nice so i tied a part one gilly like that after this whole makeup i'm going to upload the video later on but this is it guys this is the makeup i hope that you guys loved it please don't forget to like also subscribe and don't forget to share thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm going to see you all in my next bye bye